walk with corn right now. Corn, come on. Let's go, corn. Corn. I just got this cashmere hat and I bought it from, I think Depop maybe? Or curtsy, it's like a cashmere hat. I really like it. Corn, get your ass over here. But we're going back to the house. He just, I just took him on a walk, but I have to go home because I have work to do. But he's not having it. Um, I just got off the phone with Jake. Yeah, just kind of getting ready for the day. Um, I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of personal things I need to do. So I'm just going to try to get a lot done today. And hope it's a good day. Um, because it's been a rough few days and weeks, and honestly, so. Good morning. So I am back with another video. I just wanted to record just a day in my life, a few days in my life. Um, I am woke up just a little while ago. As you saw, Corn Pop and I went on a walk and now I'm just gonna get my day started. It's my first time working in quite a few days because of Thanksgiving. And yeah, hoping it's gonna be a productive time. There's a lot going on, like personally, I guess, that I'll probably talk about in this video throughout it. But um, yeah, I've just had like a tough few days and I'm just trying to bounce back from that and get to feeling more like myself again because I don't really feel myself. I feel really like anxious, um, depressed, just a lot of things that like I had been managing really well before. So um, yeah, and I'm also a little sick. So if I sound funny, that's why. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm watching the news. I'm watching CNN right now. Um, I'm gonna have some tea, maybe something to eat and then open my computer and see what work I have to do. Again, I also have a lot of personal things I need to take care of. Um, and yeah, just gonna bring you along with me. I am not really drinking caffeine right now, just because it makes me anxious. So I got these Quang's English breakfast teas, and I used two because it's kind of weak. So I always use two, but it's like a pack of hundred. So tons. Um, so yeah, so I messaged my manager. I'm seeing if she wants anything done urgently. But otherwise, I'm just gonna be like writing down the list of things that I think I need to do. I need to do reporting on the election, like obviously a lot of work for the election. And I kind of need to compile a list of everything that I did and like how effective it was, because I am gonna show that to our team members this week. So I'm just gonna make sure that's ready. Um, and then I think that's gonna be the of my work today. Um, I'm just watching what I'm doing with that, because like in the background, because um, Jake and I are gonna watch season three together, so I'm just trying to catch up. Um, and then I have to make sure, so we're bringing Corn Pop, my little dog, to England with us in two weeks. We're going to France and England, and he's coming with us, so there's a lot of paperwork that needs to be done, so I'm gonna call those departments and make sure that everything that we need to put in is in. So that's another thing I'm gonna do today. And then the last thing, not the last thing, the next thing on my list is um, we're looking at, into second opinions for my dad's pancreatic cancer. And so I have to make sure um, UCLA has all his imaging, all his CTs and stuff like that. So I just have to go on their website and make sure they have everything and then call them if not. So just trying to make sure these important things are done. Corn, corn, you know how to get off the couch. He knows how to get off the couch, but he pretends like he doesn't. Because he's so dramatic. Now he's going right back to the couch as if he didn't just scream so I would um, bring like, take him off of it. He's wild. But yeah, just gonna finish my tea and yeah.
Like, I always like think I'm making this area neat for the vlog, and then I look at it again, and I'm like, it's a mess. I'm just gonna have some lunch now. Just got leftover pizza, so let's move. lump of knobs. He has the juice. Um, so yeah, just been working these past few hours. It's been pretty busy, but good overall. And um, I think I'm gonna stop working in a little bit just to go and unpack because I haven't unpacked for my Thanksgiving and it's been like three days. Um, so I need to go unpack, do laundry, put things away. I think I need to take some things to dry cleaning because I drifted a bunch of stuff while I was in California. Um, and then, yeah, so I haven't done that in a, like, I was supposed to, definitely supposed to unpack earlier, but I haven't. And I think it's because I'm feeling kind of, like, emotional and depressed. Um, if you saw on YouTube or my Instagram, you know I relapsed, or I had a lapse in my sobriety after 3.5 years. So I've honestly been feeling, like, really funky and down and just, like, sleeping a lot and depressed. And one of the reasons I'm filming today is to try to get myself out of that because when I film, I'm a little bit more productive and... You know, I have to like talk to people and like talk to you. So I feel like I have to try to be happier, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go unpack and then do laundry and then maybe take some things to dry cleaning. So I'll just bring you guys along for that. Okay, um, so yeah, just finished some more work, which is pretty good. I feel like I've been pretty productive today. Um, and now I'm actually gonna brush my hair. Um, now, again, I've been feeling pretty down lately and when I don't feel like good about myself or when I'm feeling depressed or really anxious, I just really neglect myself and like taking care of myself, like my personal hygiene. Like I won't shower as much, I won't brush my hair. And that's one issue I'm dealing with right now is I haven't brushed my hair in a long time. And I literally have like this matting in the back of my neck because my hair is really thick and so it mats really easily and so if I'm not brushing it every other day or so it just it mats so I'm gonna brush my hair and try to relax and I'm watch I'm gonna put on a show just to watch for a little while watching Line of Duty again I don't know if anyone else deals with this but girl I yeah I have a lot of hair it's a, it's a lot to brush it so I'm gonna do that now it's probably gonna take me like 20 minutes and it's gonna be great mm -hmm. Okay, I was planning to just like brush my hair and watch a movie, but now I'm like using this, I think this is a good opportunity to talk about like what's been going on in my life. So um, obviously I went to Thanksgiving uh, with my family, but the night before I left and got on my flight, I had a lapse in my sobriety. Um, so yeah, I relapsed, I guess. I've been sober for 3.5 years, um, almost four without like, I'd relapsed six months into four years basically. And I just relapsed again. Um, I was literally just sitting on this couch watching TV and I suddenly got the idea in my head like I could drink. And at first it wasn't that insidious because I get thoughts like that sometimes. But yeah, I don't know. I just sat there and I thought I could like drink a little bit right now. And there was like nothing going on in my head. I couldn't identify like a trigger. I was just sitting on the couch like I do every day as you guys see in my YouTube videos I literally just sit on this couch it's my whole life I don't know why you guys watch me um <laughs> but yeah it took like an hour and eventually like there's just there was liquor in the cabinet because I told my husband that I was comfortable with it I've been sober for three years it was fine and yeah so and then like after an hour of just thinking on it and noodling I drank and I drank a lot I drank a lot that day and I I really frightened my husband and I made him really sad and like 
all the worst parts of me immediately came out. I was manipulative, I was sneaky, I was tricking him, I was lying, I was just like, all everything came out, like the worst parts of me, and attacked. And I was um, having like suicidal ideation and saying really like scary things about my life. And it really frightened him because he hadn't seen me like that before. Um, but yeah, he made me get on my flight the next morning at 6 a.m. anyway. <laughs> and I I realized later that I, like I would probably relapsed because I knew I had to go home for Thanksgiving. Like, I think I was self-sabotaging myself so that I wouldn't have to get on that flight and go see my family. Now, like, I love my family. Um, but if you've seen my channel, you know like that things are very complicated with my family. My dad is very sick right now. He has pancreatic cancer. My little sister has a lot of psych issues and I manage a lot of those. Um, you know, like every person in my family has a hardship going on right now and it's just so hard to manage everything. And being like the sober put together child in my family over these past few years has led to me being the one that is responsible for solving everyone's issues and including my like my dad's pancreatic cancer and i just feel so i think i just felt so exhausted and i wasn't feeling any emotions these past like eight months like i've cried like twice about my dad being sick one second which is nothing given how close he death he walked to death he was how like i just i have been unfazed jake was like i it's like scary how unemotional you are when dealing with all these things like if you see my past vlogs you know i've been dealing with a lot i had to move across the country i was away from my husband for six months i was in the hospital every day with my dad i was trying to take care of his care i was in charge i was suddenly in charge of my family's business like i had to learn how to be an accountant a lawyer just all these things and while working full time um and it like it's just been a lot um and i think like my brain just went into like just do it, like take care of yourself. You don't have to go home for Thanksgiving. You can just lie here and feel good. And I think that's what my brain did. I think my brain was just like, like doing its form of protecting itself from like by stopping me from going home. Um, and so I drank, but anyway, my husband got me on that flight. I was like, I'm trying, like maybe I should push my flight. No, he got me on that flight. And he woke my ass up, drove me to the airport and I was so drunk still, it was terrible. Um, I haven't drank since, but I've had like cravings. So I had a really bad craving yesterday, maybe two days ago. Um, and yeah, I almost drank again and it feels like so insidious. And my husband's telling me to go to AA and he really wants me to go. And I just like don't want to because um, that's like a lot of emotional work, you know? Um, to go to AA and do all the AA stuff, I guess. But I know I have to, I just like don't want to. So I'm battling with that right now, but also like battling with the idea that um, oftentimes in sobriety, if you're not like actively working to keep yourself sober, you'll, you're gonna fall back into it. And like, I know logically that's what like typically happens, but I like still think that I could be sober without that stuff even though obviously I, I relapsed after three and a half years, but like, I think, well, I was sober for three years without that stuff, like I can do it again. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want my sobriety to look like now. Um, I'm trying to feel better. I felt a lot of shame and embarrassment from it. Um, ow. Um, obviously it's like not been fun. <laughs> um, and I've been like, I've been feeling my emotions a lot more since that relapse. I don't know what happened. I think it just like opened up the floodgates, but like I'm very unemotional and like, I don't know. Like I've just been feeling like, like today I felt like a failure. I never felt like a failure. And I felt like a failure because my husband asked me to wake up at a certain time to accept a package. And I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I missed the package delivery. And I thought like, I feel like a failure. Like I failed, I should have woken up earlier. And I never feel like that. Like. I always tell people I'm so therapy and like on so many meds that I just like, I just like move on. I just move past it. But I was really like feeling like a failure when I woke up this morning. That's not normal for me. So I'm just feeling a lot more emotions right now, but I'm trying to accept that. And yeah, hopefully I can get to a point where I'm just like, I'm not a failure, you know? But what I've also found is that my husband, like in his operations with me now, operations, what word am I looking for? He's been a lot more patient. 
like when I was on the phone with him, I was like, honestly, like I felt like a failure this morning um, when I didn't wake up in time. And he's like, you know what? Like I actually had rehearsed what I was gonna say to you if you hadn't, if you'd missed the package. And I was gonna say to you that it's not a big deal and they delivered it too early anyway, like who delivers a package at nine and it's not your fault and you'll get another time. And I didn't realize, and like that's something that he hasn't done before. Like he'd usually be like, oh, why didn't you wake up earlier? You know, which is fair because, you know, I had committed to him that I'd wake up and I had it. And I just really appreciated his like change in tone or approach to me because I am very sensitive right now. And yeah, I just appreciated him like making that small behavior shift to make me feel okay because in the end it's not the end of the world if i miss a package but i felt like a failure you know um but anyway i don't know like i literally just want to sleep i'm definitely depressed again you know like it's there like i just want to sleep and yeah i don't know like i bought myself a pizza and some um, pasta like three days ago and i've just been eating that like i've just been doing the bare minimum kind of right now because i just don't feel well like i just don't feel well emotionally and i'm trying to just like put it back together and i know like i have to figure out how to deal with all the responsibilities i have because those just didn't go away those didn't just go away because i relapsed you know they're still there and i had to learn how to manage them while also managing managing my new reality of like you had to relapse and it's okay um i don't know if anyone has experienced relapse after like a long term of sobriety like this is definitely my longest term of sobriety that like I haven't relapsed my previous longest term was six months and three and a half years just feels like it dwarfs that so much like so much has happened in three and a half years you know and I'm just kind of dealing with the the repercussions of what has happened and I just feel strange but I don't know, even like talking to you guys about this, it feels like I'm oversharing a lot. Like people are, are sometimes like, what's your hobby, Rachel? What hobbies do you have? And I'm like, I like to overshare on the internet. And that really is it. But it really brings me a lot of peace to say the things that I'm feeling out loud that I might not have like said to people or whatever, you know? And I know it helps some of you guys. And I really appreciate when you guys comment and let me know that because that, sometimes it feels like I'm talking into the void. And it's just nice to know that, you know, my experiences, though they can be painful, maybe have helped someone, you know? Um, but yeah, that's just kind of what I'm feeling. Well, it's been like how long? Nine minutes and I've done half my head. And another really tough thing was that I had to fly away the next morning from Jake. And then he, when I, I came back here and by then on Thanksgiving day, he flew to England for a funeral. And so I'm not gonna see him for like, 11 days after I did all that shit to him, you know, like that sucks. And I've been feeling really insecure about his love for me. Like I know he loves me and stuff, but I feel like I've been feeling really like I'm, I sh I'm unlovable and like how can someone love something like that? And that sounds so absurd unless you felt it yourself. Like, and you know what I'm talking about because like I have a lot of great qualities. I'm very nice, whatever. But like if he once, like you guys weren't there, he saw this thing come out of me and it was horrible and frightening and disgusting and scary and stuff. And I'm just like, he saw all of that and he saw me like manipulating him and lying and just doing all this stuff. And I'm like, how can he love me after that? You know? And so I'm dealing with a lot of feelings of that and just trying to feel like I'm worth loving despite all those things. And yeah, I'm just struggling, you girl. I'm just struggling, y'all. Finished brushing my hair, which we love. And now I'm just going to use this face mask and then I'm gonna like roller my face after for like self care or something, yeah. Mm. That just feels nice and cool. Oh, it's fine. Go get it, Gorge. Oh yeah, my son, you're so crazy. Ow. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear the birds chirping? I'm just in the backyard with corn. She's going to the bathroom. And then I have therapy right now in like five minutes. I just got off my first call. Um, I look exhausted today, damn. The girl needs a nap. Um, but yeah, I have my first call today. I feel pretty good today, I think, like emotionally, but I feel really tired. So I'm hoping that my concerta actually works today and it get kicked in and I'm like ready to go. 
but we'll see. Um, but yeah, therapy first. Corn, are you? Corn, that was the longest pee I've ever seen you do. Very impressive. Um, but yeah, therapy. Mm -hmm. Right, so I don't know if this is a vulnerable period. Yeah. Right now. It is um, a vulnerable so is a period. Balance? I feel like the balance is knowing that I have four years, but also acknowledging that I lapsed and I did yeah. and I did and said things that were very hurtful to Jake and myself sure. Sure. and working on fixing the reasons, not fixing, but like working on integrating the reasons that I, that caused that relapse. And I feel yeah. like I have been stewing on it, but uh -huh. if I, if I tr get so into like the, I, I only have five days, then I know that will negatively affect me. And right. like the, I have like, and like, I, get, I totally got what you're saying about like, you, th you might just be enabling me if I'm not telling you everything or whatever. Cause that's like, that's totally true. Like a hundred percent, like you're right. Um, but I, I'm going to try my best to be truthful and that's what matters on my part. And if like we fail, that's cause I was lying or something, oh. you know, uh, <laughs> which is my fault. I didn't even realize, so something yeah. I like yeah. the two things I need to do is work through what to do on like the boundaries and setting yeah. myself up for not relapsing again, not just yeah. not for relapsing again, but to have a better life for myself, you know? There, there's a word I'm thinking about. Did we talk about DBT before? Um, briefly, dialectical, dialectical behavior, behavior therapy. therapy. And so there's something called a um, chain, behavior chain analysis. And so that was just the word I was thinking of where they literally make a chart and go backwards from, okay, you self-harmed or whatever goes in the circle. What happened before that, before that, before that, before mm -hmm. that, and you try to figure out the origin, right? Yeah. And so it might seem so micro in a way, but if we can manage that, mm -hmm. that's going to help the life and yeah. like everything else, well, right? I've been doing DVT without even realizing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, no, but yeah, I like to, yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. And I, I do, I feel like I do know what it is. And like, I think that talking through it will help you. And I really, me, not you, help me. And yeah, I really think it's the whole, you might help me too. You never know. we never know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really think it's the family boundaries. Okay. I just finished therapy and yeah, I'm up in my bedroom and I told my therapist that I was going to unpack my stuff because I still haven't unpacked my stuff and I've been back for like four days. So I'm going to unpack my suitcase and put a pile of things I need to go dry cleaning and a pile of things I need to go washing. And maybe I'll even wash my clothes that's dirty today. Who knows? That'd be pretty crazy though, huh? That'd be very productive, like too productive almost. But yeah, I feel pretty good after therapy. I do have some anxiety in my chest that like developed as we were closing, like I think because we were closing therapy, which meant I could no longer talk to her, you know, because she's, we only have a 45 minute session. This needs to get dry cleaned. Um, and so yeah, just personally feeling okay, but not amazing, you know, truly. Anyway, I got like six trousers in California, but sometimes self-care is just ordering yourself food. I mean, I don't cook at all, so typically I'm ordering myself food unless Jake cooks for me, but I'm alone right now, so uh, self-care is ordering myself food because otherwise I just wouldn't eat. I got a pizza and I got Parmesan chicken parm, and it's so good. If you live in the DMV area, try out Paisano's. It's not like New York City style pizza or whatever, but it looks like really good, and I really love the crispy chicken, which I'm not much of a chicken on pizza person, but I love this pizza. Anyway, yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna be like, yo. Mm -hmm.